happen like that? Hit this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Oh my goodness. Oh my. First round well, it was good and then it ended a little shaky. I was watching like, oh my goodness. Oh my. Walked up in the next round and we got four more battles left. I'm like, they like, oh my goodness. Oh my. Anyway, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Showtime SP. Did nobody that knows body. Bah! Gotta give you the second round predictions. Because the first round predictions, I was wrong. It happens, though. I don't mind being wrong. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't mind being wrong. I have no problem getting on this camera and telling y'all niggas I was wrong. Jack Boy Man, I was wrong. Okay? Cortez, I was wrong. You feel me? I was wrong. Alright? It be happening. But let me tell you something. I like it. I'm loving it. And do I want some more of it? You goddamn right I do. Second round, Ultimate Madness 3. A honey K. A honey K. After our last week's performances... This seems like it's only a couple people that really want this 100K. Cortez, he want that 100K. Jack Boy, he want that 100K. Drugs, he acted like he wanted that one that 100K last week. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I go listen, you know. Didn't look too pretty for the ladies, except one. And let's talk about it. First one we're going to talk about is Prep versus Casey J. Mm, 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 mm. KC, you, you you had a little rough battle last one, uh, last uh, last time. You know you had the main event and it didn't end well, but you pulled through. You made it through. You definitely gave me three full rounds. But I'm gonna need you not to be frustrated with Prep, cause Prep is gonna get all up on you. He gonna get all up in you. Why you not the, why you the best one of the bar dashes, but yet you ain't got the ceiling yet type shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to tell you what Prep is going to say, but I know what Prep is going to say. I, I could just tell you, but I know what Prep is going to say. I ain't hearing no rounds, but I could tell, I could tell you how that approach is. Be prepared for Prep's first round. He's going to talk very, he's going to talk very hard to you. He's going to talk to you, tell you about yourself and why you should be doing a lot better for yourself. Casey? Now, Casey, I know what you're going to do for Prep. You got to make sure that Prep goes back to where he came from. Because out of, out of, after this after this battle, he was always in, the, in, in he was around. He just got put into the abyss from what he did with JC. And he just keep popping up. He had the whole back and forth with Ill Will. Then it was, that was battle was supposed to happen. There was supposed to be another battle that Prep had lined up. We ain't seen these battles, Casey. Now he in the tournament. Casey, it's up to you to put Prep. But I need you to be prepped and ready to go. You got to have full three rounds, whether that whether prep chokes, whether he digs in his nose, whether he got his finger in his ear, whether he grabs that water. It don't matter. You need to be prepped for prep more than it was for the king of no prep. All right? With that case, but in that case, though... I, I, I can see Prep walking away with two rounds. I can see Prep walking away with two rounds. It's been looking shaky for the ladies in this tournament. It's been looking real shaky for the ladies in the tournament. But I got to go with Prep 2-1. Jack Boy Maine, who battled and acted like he wanted 100K. Cortez battled la last time and acted like he wanted 100K. And now you got both of these niggas about to battle. Oh, listen, this might be a dogfight. I'm not going to lie to you. This is going to be a dogfight. If it's what I'm expecting it to be, this is probably going to be my favorite battle. It's probably going to be my favorite battle of this whole thing because of, of this next week. The reason why I'm saying it's going to be my bad, my favorite one, because both of the dark horses can take each other out. Both of the dark horses. Nobody was expecting Cortez to make it past that first round. People were saying that he could be official, but they was really getting, getting towards official. Let's be real here. An official slipped up a few times, and we ain't talking about her slipping and blipping like that. Because obviously she wasn't the worst. But she was the female version. She, uh, she was the ladies. Uh, she was a representation of the ladies. And then we have one representation of the men. Now, 
who do I got winning this battle between Jack Boy and Cortez? I'm going to just jump out on a limb, y'all. I, I, I can't pick a winner. I cannot pick a winner. If we're going by experience, I'm going to go with Cortez. If we're going by energy and tenacity, I'm going to go by Jack Boy Jack Boy Nate. If we're going to go by bars and we're going to go by the, uh, the actual writing of the bars, yeah, I, I would definitely say Cortez is a little bit more polished. A lot of bit more polished, I want to say that. But the hunger, Jack Boy Maine is hungry, man. Jack Boy Maine don't care who is in front of him. Me and Jack Boy Maine had a nice little back and forth a while ago. And there was a couple issues where now, I'm now telling Jack Boy, this is the potential that I see you at, my nigga. You two battles away from a hundred K. If that ain't motivation, I don't know what it is, my nigga. Bring that money home. But Cortez ain't gonna let you walk home just that easy. He's not. It's not happening. Nah. Off the uh, uh, I'm gonna go with Cortez. I gotta go with the I gotta go with the experience. I'm gonna go with the experience. I gotta go with the experience. I will get right back on this camera if I'm wrong. And I have no problem getting right back here on this camera. Jack Boy Man, I do believe that you have the way of the warrior. But I need you to calm it. I need you to hone that shit. I need you to kill Cortez, man. But I still got Cortez kind of edging this one out. He might be just a little bit more prepared. Swamp versus Geechee. Triple C's have broken up. Oh, the Carolina, California cartel is tripping. It's just breaking up. Because it's 100K on the line. You got damn right. It's 100 goddamn K on the line. Let me tell you something. I killed my brother for 100K. I, I'm, I'm not going to kill my brother for 100K. We gonna fight though. We gonna fist fight. We gonna fist fight and split the money. That's exactly what's gonna happen if I'm talking about 100k. 100k, yeah, that definitely make niggas do some strange things. Not like that, but I'm talking about not 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 the not the not the not the you know the wolf strange things. We ain't gonna talk about that. But I'm talking about strange things for some pieces of change. You know, niggas have gotten shot and killed for less. I'm just I'm, I'm not saying allegedly. Now Swamp and Geechee, mm. Swamp showed us that. You don't necessarily need back to back to back to back bars as long as you got them haymakers here. As long as you got them haymakers flying, you can you can definitely rock with them. But you going up against somebody who raps every fucking bar, nigga. Every bar, nigga. Every bar. Fuck that time. Fuck that clock, man. Man, this is bullshit what y'all doing with that clock, man. Fuck that time. <sighs> I don't know who I want to give this battle to because if I have to be analytical, Gigi be battling way too much, man. Gigi battles, he about to battle tomorrow. He about to battle next week. He going to battle the week after. Gigi is good whether he wins or loses this battle. I think I got Swamp for the hunger. If Gigi gets by this one again, man, that 100K is going to be a whole different thing. He can't have nobody set up for that. But Swamp... He seems hungry. Last but not least, Nitty versus Drugs. Nitty 3 up. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. The clip will blow. I don't talk fast. You're listening slow. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, the nobody that knows bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Ultimate Man is 3. First round. Had some dope battles in it. Had a couple people get washed, you know, but that's part of the process, part of the process. But I want to talk about the second round. I got my predictions. Showtime SP has got his predictions, his prediction. I watched his predictions so I could, hmm, agree, disagree, simply. Uh, I do disagree with a couple of his predictions, but that's what we do it for. So I'll just get into it like this. Prep versus Casey J. Okay, congratulations to Prep for marching on to the second round. And salute to Casey J for making it to the second round. But I, in order to keep it a buck, I'm going to be honest. Y'all both had light work. Y'all both had light work. Now, I'm more so passive towards Casey J because her opponent choked all three rounds. He was talking through her rounds. They was patting him on the back every single time he strained a punchline through. He would stumble through some bars. He'll 
squeeze out a line and then this mm, mm, I was like they was trying so hard and then even he she didn't even get to give it up for Casey J even the other folks it's like the judges it's like I just wish we could do this again I just wish we do it again for what what are we doing it again for Huh? Huh? Only thing that you've been shown is that one is consistently inconsistent. But y'all want to say, let's do it again. Let's do it again. So, so I'm more so to give her a pass because she was visiting. She was like, shut up, bro. Stop talking while I'm rapping. So I'm going to give her that pass. Prep one versus Swave 1 0. Their first and second rounds was a, was a wash. Like, I don't got nothing from either one of their first and second rounds. Third round, Prep was in his bagging tin. He was cooking. Both of them are going to need more. They're going to need more, need more C4 um, in order to, 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 to do this thing in the second round. I heard, I, I only heard a couple of hundred K bars in all six of their rounds, all six of their, the three and three. I might have heard of maybe two or three hundred K bars while other people is going bar for bar for bar for bar. Um, I know what KCJ can do. I know what she can do. You know, I've seen it versus Swamp. I've seen it in a lot of other battles. But then sometimes, like, she has these battles that I don't know, like, the battle with, I think it was Bonnie. Like, sometimes she just has battles that fall flat. I don't know why. Like, she'll have some amazing performances. But the other times, she'll have battles that's just like, I don't know. It just falls flat. So, she's talented. She got bars. She got a good look. I'm going to go with Prep 2-1. Prep going to have to step his shit up, though. Prep is going to have to step his shit up. He needs more than that shit that he had in the first and second round versus Swave. That is not going to cut the mustard. Next, you got uh, you got Rum Nitty versus Drugs. Drugs made it out the first round battling against the OCG. Uh, Rum Nitty made it out of the first round in his battle with um, Sirius Jones. A lot of people felt like Sirius Jones won, but now that it's been revealed that Sirius Jones recycled, I think it's pretty clear I can give this battle to Rum Nitty. So, oh, man, man, man. Rum Nitty has all of these punchlines. Like, he can literally, literally just come up with like these wild lines. Like, let's just, how would he rhyme? Uh, you know, he does this, you know, the, the, the moves and shit. Last round! I, I ended the cartoon. It's like I clapped my plug. Soon as y'all thought I was serious, I got the smack call, and now I'm back on drugs. That was actually kind of fire. Rumney don't use that, but uh, soon as I got the smack call, I was back on drugs, because you know he battled drugs before and shit, you know what I'm saying? So he's like, the last show I ended the cartoon, it's like I clapped my plug. They thought I was serious, till I got the smack. I should have been in this motherfucker tournament. But anyway, that's another story for another day. Um, long story short, um, Drug showed some of his best work in um, his Yoshi battle. Uh, you know, was, he had some heartfelt materials talking about his daughter and got out of guy. But I got Rum Nitty winning. Um, Punchlines prevail a lot of the times. You know what I'm saying? In these short battles where it's like two minute rounds, it it just and then he rum and then Drugs battle Rum Nitty before Rum Nitty thirty them. So. I got Rum Nitty. I give it to him 2 1. Um, Geechee Gotti versus Swamp. So, last night I watched Jerry West versus Swamp again. I watched Geechee Gotti, his battle from the first round again. And then I watched their 2 on 2 that they had together. You know what I'm saying? Like the 2 on 2 that uh, the Carolina Compton Cartel had together versus uh, Rock and Easy the Black Captain, Guns and Gutter. They mesh very well together. It was line after line after line after line. Erica Badu gonna scoop your brains up and all this other shit. Um, I respect what Swamp did versus Jerry West. But Geechee Gotti right now, I think he's head and shoulders above damn near everybody in this tournament. And it's, it's not because I got the no studio. I think I got the no studio. on But salute to that. But uh, he's head and shoulders above everybody else in this tournament. There is nobody who's had a better performance left in this tournament. Maybe some rum nitties here sprinkled here and there. But Geechee Gotti has done it at the highest level. Highest level, biggest named opponents. He battled somebody the day after he battled against um, Riggs in the tournament. 
He battled somebody that, that jumped on a plane from LA, flew to Atlanta, battled somebody and came back. He is battling a lot. He battled Math Hoffa like a, a week or so before. But when you're getting money and you're not working a regular job and your only job is to rap, like your only job is to talk shit. I, me and Geechee was talking about this the other day because I'm, I'm leaving my day job just to professionally talk shit. When It's a hell of a job. Like, that's all you have to do. So Geechee's coming up with bars for bars for bars for bars. Um, long story short, I fuck with Swamp. I rock with Swamp's movement. I see everything that he's done coming up from Carolina and things like that. But he hasn't had a performance yet that's better than any... If I take the top five Swamp performances, I don't know if they measure up with any of the top ten Geechee Gotti performances. And that's no hate. It's just what it is. This is the analytics. The statistics say that one MC is performing at a totally higher level. And the thing was, Jerry West said it in the battle. The reason why the two on two was the best shit that ever that you ever heard from him is because Geechee wrote every fucking bar. I don't think Geechee wrote every fucking bar. But I'm just saying, like... Geechee Gotti is going to probably win this battle. It's going to be hard to beat Geechee Gotti in front of judges. And then a fan vote? Geechee Gotti is not losing a fan vote. He'd have to come up there and literally forget damn near everything he wrote to really lose a fan vote. Geechee's way too popular. Uh, I think this, this, this whole thing is kind of like tailor-made in a ribbon for Geechee Gotti to win. Uh, last but not least, Cortez versus Jack Boy Maine. Yes. Pour a little gas on the bear and I'm revving it. Fire. Um, the funny thing is, Cortez had the biggest body of the first round. Cortez went crazy on Official. Cortez went crazy. Like, Official is a really dope MC. Like, one of the best female MCs who went crazy versus Rock on Kings versus Queens. Yo, Cortez 30, though. I have the Mexicans and put the tools in front of your Home Deep O. He went crazy on her. He made her look this small up there. Wild on her. Had official looking very uncharacteristic of what we know her for. Um, Jack Boy Main is very unorthodox. Jack Boy Main was one of them MCs that uh, I know Jack Boy Main before battle rap, you know what I'm saying? And I'll tell the story probably after the tournament, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to really like try to give away no angles, no shit like that. But I know Jack Boy Main from the street. Like, I don't know him from battle rap. Like, a lot of these people know him from battle rap. I know Jack Boy Main from street shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, and to see where he's come, how he rose, how he fell all the way to the abyss, like what John John did to him was a death blow. It would take people and put them up. They would never be able to come back. To see what he did, beating a T-top, for him to have a battle with Cortez, if he beats Cortez and goes to the, to the last round of that bracket, or if he makes it out of the out of that damn bracket and makes it to Nome? What? That's a comeback story for like a motherfucker. Um, Cortez is really solid. But Cortez, I'm not gonna lie, I rock with him. I like what he does for himself personally and with the music. He sometimes has those battles that I was telling you about with KCJ at full flat sometimes. And it's just like, what? But he's still talented. He's hungry. He's got a chip on his shoulder. But I'm going to ride with the underdog in this one. I'm riding with Jack Boy Man. Give me Jack Boy Man 2-1 edge if he could perform like he did last time. It's a super style clash, though. These guys are nothing alike. Cortez is all bars, punches, haymakers, flows, nasty with it. Jack Boy Man is just a myriad of bars. Like, he's trying to, like, climb his pen up. Like, his pen is just... Tee -tee, tee -tree, hee -hee. Like, he, he's just... It's, it's different. That's going to be a war. Um, Showtime. Talk to me, gang.